All right, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think I found a way to make Dos Pilos work. So we're gonna try it. Okay, let's do this. Hidden in the dense jungle of the Yucatan, the Mayan civilization... You don't want to know how many times I've heard this trying to make the scenario work. <laughs> ...with images of gods and kings tower above the sea of green vegetation. The Yucatan is dominated by two city-states, Tikal and Calakmul. Competing for control of the rich trade routes throughout the peninsula, the two cities have warred with each other for as long as anyone can remember. To secure the jade and cacao trade, Tikal founded the city of Dos Pilas. Now the old king of Tikal sends his youngest son, Balaj Chan Kawil, to rule it, while his oldest son will rule Tikal itself. Balaj, however, is not happy with his small inheritance. The god of war plants seeds of resentment and hate in him, and Balaj is convinced that he would be a better ruler of Tikal than his brother. Dun dun dun. Okay, heads of those Pilos to warn its citizens. Pop limit of 150, can't construct additional town centers. Don't, uh, be wary of bandits, not many gold mines. I don't know why we start at the bottom. The soldiers of Balaj Chanquil uh, are defending a fort against Kalakmul. Uh, Dos Pilas is to the south, Tikal is a big-ass city to the east, Kalakmul is a big-ass city to the north, Washkatun is uh, near enough, Tikal, to the center east, Naranjo is to the northeast, and the Mayan raiders are somewhere around Dos Pilas. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO! We're losing the fort! Quickly, retreat to Dos Pilas and warn its citizens! I think I've played the first, like, you know, 15-20 minutes of this scenario, like, four or five times now. <laughs> but last time I did it, I got it to, uh, to work, sort of, I think. So, of course, I wasn't recording it then, so now I have to redo it while recording it, and then ideally complete the scenario. Then we'll be done with the historical battles. Oh. And then we can say happy day. Alrighty. Warriors from Kalakmul have defeated our army. They will soon be on their way to our town. To arms! It's better than to legs, haha! <laughs> Just heal those guys up in the town center. Whoops. There are five small camps of raiders in the area. Destroy them! We must show them who rules the Yucatan. It's us, right? I hope it's us. I'm pretty sure it's us. So, literally all we're gonna do is side with Kalakmul. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but uh... Hey Ornlu, why don't you just try siding with the other city? Oh yeah! But I did that last time and everything seemed to be working just fine. So we're gonna go do it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. In case you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, because you're probably seeing this on YouTube at some later date along with the rest of the historical battles, um, this one, as of recording this on uh, December 14th, 2019, is bugged to hell, and uh, you cannot really side with T-Call, because the game breaks and is impossible. So, we're going to side with Kalakmul. We're going to give in to our oppressors. Or invaders. I guess Tikal is technically our oppressors. Now, there's not too much we can scout without running into a raider camp. So, uh, we're going to try and avoid that. Going to try and avoid that. Ashike? 
So yeah, I, I tried recording it once and then I posted the clips on YouTube. It was it was pretty funny. But also, as of recording this, I have like six achievements left to get in the game, and I really want to 100% the game. I don't even know if anyone else in the world has 100% of the game yet. But I'm pretty damn close, and one of the achievements I need to get is completing all the historical battles, of which this is one. Oh yeah, also, Dos Pilos is misspelled here. Complete fail. Great, great editing game. Dos Pilos. Instead of Dos Pilos. Like it's spelled everywhere else. Nope. So, yep. Yeah, pretty straightforward start to this one. You just uh, have to get to Castle Age without dying. Everyone's healing on up in there just fine. And the thing with siding with uh, Kalakmul, because eventually we're going to get overrun and uh, we need to pick a side between Tikal and Kalakmul. Um, and like I said, you kind of have to choose Kalakmul in the current patch of the game as of me playing this. But... Um, you get to keep Dos Pilas. You don't have to run away from it, because, you know, you submit to the, the new rulers. But I'm pretty sure uh, Wash Katoon becomes your enemy, and you have to fight them too. And I'm not sure about Naranjo. I've only completely beaten this once, because I find it incredibly tedious. And when I did that, I sided with Tikal. So this should at least be a, a different experience. Also in the last one, like in the HD version, I'm pretty sure if you side with Kalakmul, they don't become your ally, they just like become neutral to you. And that didn't really appeal to me as much as actually having an ally. So that's that's why I sided with Tikal. But uh, in this one, it seems like uh, Kalakmul does become your ally and does help you out. So that's pretty nice. Go and get a mining camp. As we slowly progress in the general direction of Castle Age, let's get some more farms. We should also grab Fletching and some more archers. Okay, everyone's healed up. I feel like a lot of people don't actually know that garrison units heal very slowly, but they do. And that applies to anything that can garrison, including cavalry when you garrison them in castles. Obviously you can't garrison in cavalry in uh, towers or town centers. Because there just ain't no room for the horsies. Honestly, have my uh, dudes down here because if you do get attacked from the south, and I want to preserve my gold miners because there is very little gold and stone in this scenario, as uh, I'm pretty sure one of the hints said that I may or may not have read out loud in this instance of me recording it. So yeah, um, this scenario is also the only one where you get to play as Mayans. Obviously a very popular civilization on the uh, the multiplayers uh, from, you know, clubs and experts alike. It happens to be my second favorite civilization of all time after Mongols. Because I like me some plumed archers, so we're going to be making plenty of those guys.
just in bun. Um, we can garrison the towers with archers if need be, but because they used to belong to Dos Pilas, they don't benefit from fletching, which is a little unfortunate. Oops. Get some more houses. And just work our way up to Le Age du Castle, as the French say. It's very, very accurate French. I took four years of high school French. I am an authority on these things. Anyway, once we get to Castle Age, uh, a bunch of T-Call dudes, or not T-Call, Colic Mole guys are going to come in, and then we have to make make our big decision. It's like, uh, it's like a much more exciting version of The Bachelor. But like I said, we're going to side with Kalak Mool here and get to uh, get to keep the city so we can actually, like, it, there's a point to, like, building buildings and stuff. Yeah, so we're not just going to hand it all on over. <laughs> because if you side with T-Call, uh, the city becomes under the control of Kalak Mool and it becomes your enemy and you have to retake it for a secondary objective. It's essentially just choosing uh, who's going to be your enemy. Is it going to be uh, Dos Pilas or Uwash Katun, I'm pretty sure. Could also go for some Obsidian Arrow action and some Elite Eagle Warriors, considering those are, you know, pretty much Mayans only options. And in many ways, they have the most limited tech tree in the game, even though if you discount the whole not having cavalry thing, it's actually a, uh, a pretty broad tech tree. It's just like the exact text that they're missing. Like lacking a very good siege or missing champion and stuff like that. Having, you know, medium good monks. Okay, clicking on up, and none too soon. We're gonna garrison these guys for safety, if nothing else. That is a cap for him. Um, bring you forward. Oh yeah, the reason I find this scenario so tedious is just because you can't build extra TCs, so getting your economy up is a fairly slow uh, affair. Also, the classic Mayan Raiders as the Aztec civilization. Everyone loves that one. Not sure what that was all about. It is Saturday night when I'm recording this, so people are going out and whatnot. It is 10.18 p.m. And I have two big papers to do by Monday, and it's Saturday as of me recording this. And I'm halfway through one. Yep. And I'm <laughs> playing Dos Pilas. I needed a break. <laughs> I'm allowed to have a break, goddammit. Oh yeah, I forgot to get that. Here we go. Freaking OP Castle Age upgrades. We will be done for soon. I come for you, Saladin. Soon. Yeah. There we go, upgrades. Considering those are going to be extra important, as we have so few villagers to work with. Please don't be broken and make all of this recording once again pointless. Okay, phew. And we will side with Kalakmul. We fight for Kalakmul from now on. Because we don't want our game to break. 
Okay. So now T Call becomes our enemy, but Kalakamul becomes our ally. And we obviously have to defeat T Call. Oh, yeah. Um. What's the stone situation like? Wasn't there some stones down that way? I seem to recall that. Anyway, now we're going to go out and start attacking those bandit camps. So we can go for this one across the river. Because they give you resources and stuff. Yeah, also, I can get some more archer ranges. So getting a university, Univer unit, there we go. Yeah, these guys don't have any blacksmith upgrades. Uh, just some decent unit upgrades, I guess. So with Bodkin and Castle Age upgrades, we're going to be just fine. What I do not remember is if you have to destroy all these yurts. Classic uh, Central American yurts. Very historical. And looks like we do. Uh, nope, no stone that way. So we'll have to put off plumed archers for now. Which we'll live with. Gonna want to get some eagle. Yeah, get 200 gold for that. Not too bad. Thumb ring. Okay, running low on gold there. Uh, there is going to be a village to the west that we can trade with eventually. So that's going to become very handy. Um, last time I played this, you were in Washkatoon. Which is, you know, hereabouts. Oops. And there you get a little bit of a better trade route. You know, instead of just like from here to here. I mean, I guess I can place my markets further away, but um, they're not as safe then, obviously. see some stones somewhere. Now, I'm pretty sure that Kalakmul actually doesn't really do a whole lot to help us out. Because I remember t not doing really anything um, to help us last time I played this. There's another Justin bandit Bond. camp. Go we'll clear out that village. We should amass something of an army at home, obviously. Uh, need to amass some houses as well, apparently. There is a small village situated to the west of us that is yeah. currently occupied by raiders. If we liberate this village, it will support our war effort. For the war effort. Sure. Yeah, um, t call trains Slingers, Kalakmul trains Jaguar Warriors. Overall, the Slingers should be easier to deal with than the Jaguars. Well, t call just gra uh, grabbed plus two. It's a little annoying. But nonetheless, 
with our whole bunch of crossbowmen, we should be just fine. Let's go get a mining camp here. The village has been liberated. Now we will be able to trade at its market. Yeah. And now these guys are just gonna happily farm away and lumber camp away, I assume, for the rest of the game. Shut it. Yeah, but uh. Mission number two here is gonna be find some stone. Because even if I'm not going for mass bloomed archers, I'm still going to want um, a castle for conscription. Oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure you can't make trebuchets in this scenario. Because that would be way too easy, apparently. Um... Uh... don't know if it says that somewhere or whatnot, but I'm fairly certain that's the case. But yeah, we can get to M. Still get to uh, Sea Drams, obviously. Would be pretty good. Anyway, let's go kill some more camps, because that is going to be one nice source of gold income. I'd love to build a mining camp right here, but alas, it's not meant to be. Oh, hello, Washkatoon. Goodbye, Washkatoon's army. I'm not sure what those eagle warriors are doing. Here we are. There we go. So, let me think. There's one bandit camp over here, and the other one's probably somewhere over here. Masonry. Also, I think there's a relic somewhere or something. I, I have a vague memory of that. Onward and upward. I'm pretty sure T-Call does advance to the Imperial Age at some point. I'm not really sure when. But at some point, that is a mining camp in the middle of nowhere. Oh, the local uh, villages uh, tribute you resources as well, which is quite nice. I assume from their one or two trade carts, three farmers, and three lumberjacks. Don't know why my rally points all the way over there, considering that Tikal is to the east. Need to get some villagers away from here. Get some siege workshops. Oh, hey, stone, 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 stone. stone. One more cam. We have destroyed the fourth cam. You bet. Shut 
one of the few instances stone shaft mining is actually a good idea. The audacity. Oh yeah, this guy doesn't benefit from Bodkinero. Some of those. Wait, where am I being attacked? Oh. Found him! Get those sorts of useful upgrades. Of course, now they go after the villagers. Oh yeah, T-Call advanced to the Castle Age at some point. Or no, not T-Call, Kalakmul. Not really sure um, if that really matters. If, they're, if that means they're going to help us in any conceivable way. There is a Tikalian fortress situated on the cliff south of Waxhatu. We should destroy it immediately. Um. Oh yeah, I remember this fort was taken over by raiders. Uh, when you ally with Tikal, so you never actually get to uh, control it or have it help you or whatever. Yeah, Obsidian Arrows is definitely uh, a possibility. Well, there are rather a lot of units over here. Most of them are Slingers, though, so the arm should fare quite well. Be careful with my eagles. Well, there goes that gold. Oh, yeah, I remember this place. I remember this place. They took several of our Hun brothers prisoner before. No, that's, that's actually not the case. There's a, there's a, a big old gold mine down there, this is what there is. Okay, okay. Let's go deal with that. I'm not sure if that counts as a bandit camp or not. Or if I missed one somewhere. Thanks, local villages. Whoa! Don't thank you, Naranjo. I guess Naranjo doesn't ever... Like, okay, so when you side with Tikal, there's a whole little side quest for Naranjo. Where it's like, defend Naranjo for 15 minutes and then they'll be your super BFF for life. Um, guess that's not the case! Man, you side with Kalakmul. But they're only Castle Age still. Also, I'm pretty sure we definitely can never lose our town center because then we literally can't make any more villagers because we can't build town centers. Yeah. Oh, this AI micro man. Ah! Oh, at what point did Tikal get Imperial Age? I missed that one. Okay, let's go get that gold mine. I mean, our population count isn't really spectacular. Oh, wait, I can build a castle, though. Awesome! That house will have to sacrifice itself. It's called... Uh, whatever it's called when the government takes over land. Eminent Domain, that's what it's called. Oh, I'm attacked 
Long swordsman, please. Anything over here? There's an old stone head. Oh, whoops. Okay. Guys can go to work there. Guys can go to work there. Uh, oh, relic. Awesome. Okay, if that attack is finally over and done with, we can go down here and uh, take that mining operation. Sure, some of these guys as well. Oh yeah, I'm also going to want to get guilds because uh, I have the feeling we're going to be doing a lot of market abuse. It's like, uh, it's like America before 2008. Uh, now you guys know why I find this one tedious. And annoying. To scenarios where you don't get a lot of income and you can't make a big army and you have to assault enemy fortifications is all just kind of annoying. Those are elite plumed archers. Still no upgrades though. Oh. Um, kill him. But no, don't attack the goddamn house. Attack the thing that's attacking you. Oh, I hope this uh, T-Call isn't attacking us right now. Because our, uh, our forces are weak and scattered from recent attacks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a bunch of eagle warriors and a few more arbalests. Also get conscription. Oh yeah, and obsidian arrows. Gotta get obsidian arrows. What am I doing here? Not getting obsidian arrows. That's one way to get your arbs to shred through buildings. I'm not used to having this few on uh, uh, herbs one-shot eagle warriors, but that's what happens when you have no maximum upgrades. Yeah, see, there's the glitter of gold. Ranho advancing to imp as well. Get some some sort of permanent gold income. Awesome, there's some city narrows. And there's even some stone down here. It's it better and better and better. But not any more better than that. Obsidian arrows time. Get Siege Ram, and then uh Washkatoon will be next. Oh wait, this didn't count as a bandit camp, so there's one more hiding somewhere. The bandits were protecting a large gold mine. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. I was going to build an extra town center, but no. That is not something that we are allowed to do. Okie dokie. Let's get some rams a-going. Yeah, whatever. 
And hopefully now that we have some more gold income, things will be going a bit more swiftly. Because unfortunately, I mean, halves are not really that useful here because, you know, no cavalry. And skirmishers, I mean, I, they're sort of kind of cost efficient against plumed archers and obviously good against uh, our blessed and stuff, but yeah, it's a very, very, very slow way of winning the game. Ever. Send some some of my guys down that way. Uh, I guess I should go for this before I go for Uashkatun. It's a bit closer. Wait, why are you going all the way around there? Whoa, that is a lot of monks. Do have keeps as well. Oh, hey, Naranjo. And a wash tune. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now I remember why I found the scenario so annoying. Well, I remember even more why I found the scenario so annoying. No frickin' gold income. And they are training exclusively gold units. <laughs> oh yeah, they have infinite resources in case that wasn't uh, clear. But yeah, I feel like this is harder than when you side with T-Call. Because when you side with T-Call, there's only two enemies. Dos Pilos and uh, Kalakmul. Now we have three enemies. Guess I need to sell stone. Never really a great sign. Oh wait, no, you can make trebuchets. <laughs> Send these guys down around. This guy, these guys are still working. Looks like I will clean this up eventually. Frickin' monks, man. Build! Can't even afford treadmill crane. Is this ever gonna stop, by the way? Is this, is this just gonna be an infinite unit spam for the rest of the scenario? Why do I have the uh, rather sinking feeling that it is? Got it. 
Washkatoon isn't an imp. Silver linings. Okay. Back to siege workshops. Oh, whoops. There's a farmer in here, isn't there? Well, you can, uh, you can repair that. Oh yeah, I should also get Eldorado once I can afford it. Sounds something... Sounds like something that would be useful. And back to being attacked. Uh, it would have been a little bit uh, much for me to ask for more than two seconds respite. Now we have Eldorado. That should hopefully help us a fair bit. There's a nice spot for four Arbalusts. Oh boy, I'm running low on gold here! I'm trying to understand how he could ever get an advantage. Like, what I want to do is just be given like a couple minutes to be able to mass up an army, but I'm not being given that. <laughs> and we're very much pressed for time. what it can do. Get some market set up down here. This would be a decent trade route to Gray. I really don't have more than room for more than one. Even cut my treble off. Should get Elite Skirmisher just as, you know, fodder. Okay, again, a little bit of an ease in their attacking. Let's take that opportunity and kill some production buildings. Yeah, this is not a great sign. Oh, they don't have a lead eagle warrior. That's uh, that's something. They do have Eldorado though. Keep this villager here to repair the trub. Oh, never mind. They do have a lead eagle warrior. And back to being attacked. Holy shit, these arms are freaking useless. I mean, like, I guess I can try and go for some plumed archers. Let's see uh, how good of this trade route's gonna be. Oh, whoops. Duh. A hundred. That's not too useful. It's not actually a hundred. Okay. Plan two. Try and see if we can if that counts as a straggler. I mean, logically it would, but what does this game have anything to do with logic? Okay. 
Oh, what I can do is just mine some gold over here. Get some trade cards going. But yeah, we are back to zip gold income. Dumb bills. So what the hell are these villagers doing lumberjacking over here? Oh yeah, the lumberjacking over here because it's trying to scrag the cut it. Duh. Let's see if I can get a good amount of plumes out somehow. Awesome that it does kind of straggler. More trade cards. 91 gold, not too bad. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> okay, you guys can go back to farming. The whole slinger thing is pretty damn annoying, although I think Jags would be worse. Which collect mole trains. It'd be nice if you'd help out, by the way. Instead of just doing nothing. Whoa, 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 there's a ton of gold here. Why don't I get this? Oh wait, there's more stone over here too? Why the hell am I not just looking up in uh, Kalakmul's area? Okay, let's... I, I think this is the third time we're trying to put these exact three siege workshops. If they don't realize we have trade and or are programmed to not attack it, that would really make our lives easier. But I, I'm, I'm seeing some hope now. I'm, I'm seeing a way we actually can win this, as opposed to just very slowly die, <laughs> which is what we were doing. Yeah, this is probably the hardest of the the, the missions, the battles of the conquerors, or whatever they're called. Historical battles, there we go. 
It looks like T Call is probably the only one who has infinite resources of the uh, enemies. I think everyone else probably has to gather resources the old fashioned way. Okay. What that might mean, though, is that they'll rebuild production buildings. But I'll take that to infinite resource spam any day of the week. We're north of 100 pop, boys. Oh, damn it, they make traps. Uh, do I have a villager nearby? You. Even though there is very little hope of this trip surviving, yeah. But you can see our pop is slowly but steadily going up. The gate is down! I wonder how they keep on getting slingers. I think, I guess you can just enable that in the scenario editor or something. At least that would be my assumption. Okay. Yeah, by far the biggest thing we have going for us is the fact that we can mine resources in Kalakmul. Also the trade. Yeah, our next biggest problem is going to be uh, population efficiency. Noise. I wonder if we get anything for destroying the Tikal Fort. Um, okay. Not really what I was hoping for. It's not like we even get the buildings. <laughs> but nonetheless, onward and upward. Then once we defeat uh, Washkatoon, we can then get some forward castles rolling. Oh god, whoops. And Uashkatun doesn't have a castle, by the way, so that's nice. Just these stone walls. Also, they're still in Castle Age. Oh, God! This is why we don't spend all of our stone. Um, attack, please. Thank you. Pop capped! We're near enough as to make no difference. What is this? But assuming I do beat this, which granted is far from a certain thing at this point still, um, hopefully it'll help some of you guys who are very likely struggling with this. Or I'm just the only person who in this, you know, community who's struggling with this scenario at all, and everyone else is like, Orly, this is the easiest scenario ever, you're so bad. Which is also a distinct possibility. Okay, it's 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 kind of dumb that we don't just like get the town center. Okay, I guess that's the best we can do. I mean, it would be great if we just got Kalakmul. I mean, we'd put better use, or we'd make better use of it than they are right now. Maybe we will get, or at least Kalakmul will get access 
The buildings will convert once the town center is destroyed. That's my hope. And the winner is... Nope. Oh, maybe, yeah. They're just deleting their stuff. Actually, don't need that much food anymore. Bring these vills forward. Now things are looking up. Let's see if there's anything over down this way. Oh, I'm feeling so much better. There was a little while there and I'm like, oh god, did I actually lose this? But nah, we're looking good. Ooh, there's some more gold over there. Good to note. Uh, we will try and deal with Naranjo. Well, try. We will succeed in dealing with Naranjo. Okay, castle somewhere around here seems like a good idea. Wait, why is that tower still alive? That's dumb. They deleted all their other towers. Oh, don't lose all the vills. Ah, one vill! Okay, yeah, we're gonna send some more vills over. You guys aren't seeming to be especially efficient right now. But yeah, now that we have gotten rid of Washkatoon, we now have significantly more of the map available to us and what we can, you know, where we can send our villagers. Like, we can do that whole area that's kind of northwest of Washkatoon as well. Wait, what? Uh, uh, Clockmole, help! Wait, they locked the gates! These... These mother frickers, man! What jerkwads! Not only did they, 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 they freaking open the gates for Naranjo. Do they want us to succeed? We're fighting for them. <laughs> Jerks. Okay. I'm not taking a huge Manganel hit. Sure, man. Whatever you say, boss. Just making sure we have space. Focus more on the barracks than the archery range. Did I ever get treadmill crane? No, I did not. Also, should get murder holes. Um, outpost. I never did find that last bandit camp. Don't know why this happens sometimes. You can see the, the gate ends are right there, but... Yeah, you get it. Okay, hopefully destroying the town center. Yeah, it's gonna make him resign. That just leaves the big daddy himself. Oh, look at all of our resources. Remember when we had zero gold, man? 
Ish. Ashak. Atuts. Ashike. Ashak. Shot it. Woods just in bond. Oh yeah, there's like a bring all military. Oh, there's the last bandit camp. Also, probably could have taken that gold way sooner. Probably would have made our lives like a lot easier, in fact. Oh well. Can't uh can't put that cat back in the bag. Where are you going? My army's right here. You wanna fight me, bruh? I don't know if we need to just snipe the wonder or if we need to defeat them, defeat them. Of course, they have all the building HP upgrades because why wouldn't they? At least now we can mostly focus on like a really good comp of Plumed Archer plus Eagle Warrior and some Rams and stuff to get rid of these skirmishers. Try and repair that. We'll likely go about as well as all of our other repairing attempts. Yep! Classic AI micro. Wait, didn't I send some eagle warriors left at some point to kill that? Probably accidentally sent them back. I wish I could... I, I know I've said this before, probably in the campaign videos too, but I wish I could set the default stance for specifically rams and scorpions to be aggressive, while it would be defensive for mangonels. Because rams, you want to be unaggressive, because then they'll auto-target buildings and, you know, trundle forward and destroy everything in their path. And then scorpions, because they're essentially just, you know, they're like normal units that you use. They're not too expensive and they're not too powerful. Uh, but mangonels you'd want to keep on defensive, at least if you're me, just because uh, otherwise you're expensive. Critical mangonels don't wander off and uh, uh, destroy themselves for no good reason. As they would be want to do under my control. Don't need those guys. More army! Mayan Raiders was defeated. Mayan Raiders were defeated. SMH game. Even though every single enemy according to the game is singular. Because that's how human players are online. At least they don't have arrow slits. Well, mines don't have arrow slits in general. And I'm pretty sure with each of these uh, that we destroy, they won't be able to replace them. Anyway, this is what you get, Dad, for not making me the, the heir to T-Call. Because I'm honestly kind of a jackass of a son. I mean, in the game. I, I try to be a good son in real life. Which reminds me, I need to, I need to find some Christmas gifts for my parents! <laughs> Speaking of being a good son. Oh well, I'll worry about that after finals. Okay, there goes that castle. We'll still try and work our way towards the, uh, the Great Pyramid, because in case you guys didn't know, the, the Mayan Wonder, like the actual Mayan Wonder, is the Great Pyramid of Tikal. So, like, this is the actual, you know, it's an Age of Empires depiction of the actual city where the actual wonder is, which is not done too often. I'm trying to think of where else is the wonder actually placed in its historically correct location. 
Justin Bun. The Burmese Wonder, I believe, in uh, Bayanong 2. I believe that's the golden stupa of Pagan. Or whatever it's called. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, they have plenty of units over here. Get out my game castle. Damn, I'm actually losing units at a rather alarming rate. Well, these guys might help. Just a little bit. Oh, I love pushing through a bunch of fortified walls as Mayans. It's very fun and engaging. Almost towards the pyramid. I guess it, this would have been a lot easier to attack, come to think of it. I mean, in general, this is probably the harder of the two options of, you know, siding with Kalak, Muller, Tikal. Hopefully they don't have too many, many more castles, because those guys are obviously the kickers. And when I say kickers, I mean they kick you with arrows. Um, making progress. Maybe they don't have infinite resources. I just kind of assumed they did, because they did last time. And anyway, they're pushing into the heart of the city. Don't really seem to have a whole lot left. And then we'll be done with uh, all of the forgotten, or not the forgotten, uh, the historical battles, which are pretty sick. I think I'm the first person to put those on YouTube, or these on YouTube. This is one of them, obviously. And if you're wondering, wondering what's next, uh, we're just going to go through the campaigns in chronological order, no less. That's why we're doing Alaric on stream. Obviously, I've done all of these... Oh, God, that's been so many dead Um, I've done all these historical battles just for YouTube, and in the future, uh, hopefully as casting becomes more reasonable, as in, like, less horrible, um, I'll be doing more and more casting and then playing, probably on Thursdays or whatever, um, on my stream, and then I'll probably be moving over time more and more and more of the campaign content to YouTube. At least that's the idea right now. Are they going to resign, or do I have to actually defeat them? There we go. Wait, why didn't I get the... Maybe I'll get it when I leave or something. Oh, there's another relic over here. Missed that one. Not that it really mattered. But yeah, that was really hard in the beginning, man. That was a long one, too. An hour 50. Anyway, see the outro. After years of conflict, the war god's thirst for blood was satisfied. Balage, having betrayed his father and brother and sacked the city he held dear, was plagued by guilt. Despite his victory, he relinquished his claim on Tikal and instead returned to Dos Pilas, 
where he spent the remainder of his I wonder if this gives you a different outro if you choose Later, the other side. Tikal was rebuilt, and it finally overcame its rival, Kalakmu. However, it never truly recovered from the betrayal of one of its dearest sons, and the Mayan civilization steadily declined. Feels bad, man. All right. It's no KKD. We actually got a lot of resources attributed to us. Wow. You guys weren't so bad in the slinging department. Anyway. Um, why don't I have this achievement? I've literally done all of these. Ugh. I'll figure out which one I need to go ahead and redo. If any, I don't know. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.